Hey dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an updated what's in my airplane travel carry-on bag. This time around, you guys know I love and adore my Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM in the monogram canvas. I did do a video like this years ago with the same bag. The things inside have definitely changed. So I'll leave that linked down below for those of you that want to see Kayla a few years ago. So the first thing I have on top is something that I would definitely wear already. It's not going to be just in my bag because I like to snuggle up on planes. It's just an oversized scarf that I can double as a blanket and a neck pillow. It has multiple uses. So in this bag, there is only one zipper compartment which holds all of my essentials for easy access. My cell phone, my cell phone is my baby, it is my life. It holds all of my entertainment during the flight, including my music, my games, and my apps. I do like to sleep on the plane and I like to sleep to music because I don't wanna hear everything else that's going on around me. So music is definitely key. This next essential is a complete must disinfectant wipes. Now, these are the wet ones. I got the extra gentle because I do like to use these on my hands, but I also like to wipe down anything that's around me, like the little tray, although I never pull that down because I don't ever drink anything on the plane and I never eat anything aside from whatever I bring with me because I don't like to get up. Fun fact, I've never used the bathroom on an airplane ever. I think it might be like a germ thing for me or a fear or because I get the window seat and I don't like to say, excuse me, excuse me, can I get out? I don't like to do all of that. Also in the pocket, I have my vlogging camera, which I use all of the time. This is my baby. It's the Canon G7X and it has like the flip out screen. Highly recommend for my YouTube friends out there. I have some lotion because I get super ashy on the planes and not only just on planes but because it's winter time so essential and I also like to carry my perfume with me in my bag so I can refresh myself once I land and right now I'm loving my Chanel Chance it's the green one it's a very sophisticated scent and I always get compliments it definitely goes really nicely with my body chemistry and because I'm traveling I don't really need to bring my car keys with me or anything like that so I just have my house keys and my mailbox key in my little Louis Vuitton clay and the monogram canvas. Super cute, because I always know where my keys are. It's attached to the hook. I use this little thing for everything, but for my keys and travel, it works out perfectly. I don't typically eat on the plane, but when I land, oh my gosh, I am so hungry. So having a protein bar at Easy Access is great for me. These are the Cliff Bars. They're packed with protein. They're super delicious and very hearty. And this one is just the chocolate chip flavor. That is the little zipper pouch, completely empty. And you can see that it holds a lot of stuff inside. So I have this little beanie, which I most likely will be wearing once I get through TSA. And this one just came from Zara. I kind of want to put it on. It's so freaking cute. I love the color of this. I love the pom-pom. It was like $12, $12 bucks well spent. I have my headphones in here. I'm looking to get a new pair of headphones actually. I think I wanna get the Beats, but I'm not sure if they get good reviews. Any of you guys have Beats? Let me know what you think about them. But these are just my Mies. I actually use these to edit, but they're very comfortable. I'm probably going to transfer this in a smaller container because I don't need the whole thing. I'm the type of person that loves to get my sleep on when I'm flying because the flight is long. So for me, it helps with my anxiety. I don't know, I don't like to fly that much because I kind of freak myself out a bit. So if I'm asleep, I don't have to worry about a thing. I wanna show you guys what it looks like in here because this bag has no pockets aside from that big zipper that I showed you. So it's really crucial for me to be as organized as I can because when you're sitting on a plane, it's very dark when your bag is on the floor pushed underneath the seat So I want to be able to know exactly where my things are so I can grab them And I don't have to keep like rumbling through my purse trying to find one specific thing I personally love to bring my full-size wallet with me when I'm traveling places so I can keep my boarding pass in here all of my cards and Everything like every wallet essential that you need so I know where everything is this one is the same wallet I've carried for years now It was a gift from my mom and it's Michael Kors This one is very special because it holds all of my electronic stuff inside I don't like to have a bunch of cords 
tangled up, rolled up, thrown around all in my bag. So this keeps everything perfectly stowed away. I have my external battery, which is a must. I use my phone throughout the entire flight. So I wanna make sure that I have a battery so I can call whoever's picking me up. So this one's a churro. I got it from Amazon. I'll leave it linked below. I have my iPhone cord. And then I have my little mini tripod for my vlogging camera. I also keep my vlogging camera chargers in my carry-on bag, so that's not something else that I have to have with me in my purse. The next little bag that I have is my essentials, the things that you don't really think to bring, but you wish you had. That's what I have in here. This case, I believe, is from Forever 21. It's really nice to have little cases like this handy. So on top, I have a little mesh bag of hair ties, bobby pins, and a hair clip two tampons for obvious reasons, thin wipes, such an essential for traveling because you wanna be fresh down there and these are so convenient, you can use one at a time. So I just bring extra so I can also use them while I'm on my trip. I have a couple of band-aids in case I get a boo-boo. I do keep cortisone because I have extremely dry skin and I do have a history of eczema, so it's nice to have that eye drops because I get super dry irritated eyes and I do suffer from allergies so of course I have Benadryl I never leave my house without Benadryl hand sanitizer and my EOS lip balm I am a sunglass junkie I love to switch up my glasses every single day to fit my mood and my look but when I'm traveling I don't like to bring a bunch of stuff especially more things of one thing that I don't really need because I don't wanna keep track of all of those things and then lugging them around places. But I do have my key sunglasses in here. I love these so much. I think these are the Genesis. They're very oversized and dramatic, but they are reflective, which I love. I think this will be a good pair to bring with me because I can wear them with almost anything. The last pair of glasses that I have are in this beautiful case. It's a nice hard case. And these are just the glasses that I wear at nighttime to see because I have poor vision at night. You guys all know this after having my laser eye surgery, but these are by Warby Parker. I don't know the exact style name because I had these a couple years back, but they're super cute. Just go on their site and look at all of the clear frames and I'm sure you'll find this pair or a similar style. The next thing I have is another little pouch. These are like my beauty essentials that I will like to use when I land and I can just touch up my face so I don't look like a complete disaster. So I do keep the majority of my makeup in my checked bag because I don't need to bring an entire bag of makeup, just the essentials. So I have my Hourglass foundation brush. I like this because it's very small and compact. And this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. <laughs> I tend to get dry on the plane, but then I also tend to get oily. It's kind of confusing. So I do like to have my blotting blending sponge by Beauty Blender, and it comes with a mirror, which is nice as well. I have my lip gloss in here by Glam Glow. I love this lippy so much. I know I keep talking about it, but it's so amazing. This is just the lip gloss version. It also tingles a bit, which is nice. I have my compact powder from Laura Mercier, and this is the Smooth Finish Foundation Powder in number eight has a mirror and a sponge applicator in there. I have my Becca Cosmetics Wild Honey Mineral Blush. This is really pretty, I wanna show you. I have like so much stuff everywhere. It's like a blush and bronzer in one. Like, but the only other thing I have in this bag, by the way, this is from Sephora, and I like it because it's clear, but um, I have this little travel size Sigma brush. I just have a few more things in here, like my planner, which I really can't leave the house without. I really need to be organized. This is just from Target. Now that the year is coming to an end, I need to get a new one, but I keep a pen in here as well. I have some stamps in the back of my planner and my little money saving tracker. Each month I like to put away some money into my bank account. I did download this from the internet, but it's super helpful. By the end of the year, I should save 1,050 bucks. That was my gift to myself for Christmas, is a saving plan, okay? And the last thing that's in my bag, I promise, is my laptop. I will never ever check my laptop. The case came from, where did I get this? It's padded in there, so I feel like my computer's nice and protected. And I just have the MacBook Air. Again, I have the matching sticker on my MacBook as well. But I like to edit sometimes while I have downtime. If I don't happen to sleep on the plane, which is rare, then I will edit some videos, but since I'm doing Vlogmas, I feel like I should be productive with my time so I don't miss a day. 
and that is my bag empty and the only other thing I have to mention is my little pom-pom so freaking cute I got it from Target for $4.99 I keep telling you guys on my vlogs to go get these because they have several colors and they were on sale at the time that I mentioned it so I love that it adds some personality to my purse and this bag is just so great for travel hence why I always use it for my carry-on but I like it because it's just an open bucket style oh my gosh there's a stain in there but you can honestly fit so much in here and also if you don't want to stuff it you can go ahead and fold in the sides let me do that so I can show you so your purse isn't so big. Now this is gonna double as my purse while I'm home as well. So obviously I'm not gonna need all of that stuff with me so I can go ahead and cinch the sides so it's not so big of a tote. Who's calling me? If it's not my mom, I'm not answering. Oh my gosh, it's my mom. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Filming a video, say hi. Hey! <laughs> that just about wraps up my what's in my travel carry-on airplane bag. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you have to have with you on a flight. Am I missing anything here? Let me know before it's too late and I'm stuck without it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to keep up with me while I'm away on my trip. And also remember, I'm doing Vlogmas, so vlogs every single day up until Christmas, maybe even a few more after vlog is over because it's so much fun for me like I'm really enjoying uploading every single day so make sure you guys subscribe to my vlog channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell over there so you can get a notification every time I post and I will see you dolls in my next video very soon Bye.